The Cost to Borrow in the Context of Short Selling, a Guide for Investors Short selling is a common investment strategy where an investor seeks to profit from the anticipated decline in the price of a security. However, to engage in short selling, an investor must first borrow the security, which comes with its associated cost. This video dives deep into understanding the cost to borrow in the context of short selling and its implications for investors. What is short selling? Before delving into the cost to borrow, it's essential to understand the concept of short selling. In a short sale, an investor borrows a security, typically from a broker's inventory. They immediately sell the borrowed security at the current market price. They wait for the security's price to fall. They buy back the security at the reduced price to return it to the lender. The difference between the selling price and the repurchase price is the investor's profit or loss, minus the costs involved in the transaction. The cost to borrow in short selling. The cost to borrow, often referred to as the borrowing fee or stock loan fee, represents the cost associated with borrowing shares for short selling. It's primarily influenced by supply and demand. If a stock is in high demand for shorting, perhaps because many investors believe its price will decline, and there are limited shares available to borrow, the cost to borrow can rise. Inherent risk of the stock Riskier stocks might have a higher borrowing cost. Lender's discretion The entity lending the stock, typically a brokerage or a large institutional investor, can set the borrowing fee. Examples of cost to borrow in short selling Example 1. Assume an investor wants to short sell 100 shares of Company A, currently priced at $50 per share. The broker informs the investor that the annual borrowing fee is 5%. If the investor holds the short position for a year, they would owe 100 shares multiplied by $50 per share multiplied by 5% equals $250. Example 2. For a hot stock that many believe is overvalued, let's say the borrowing fee is 20% due to high demand and limited availability. Shorting 100 shares at $100 each would result in 100 shares multiplied by own $100 per share multiplied by 20% equals $2,000. Implications for investors Profit Threshold the cost to borrow impacts the profit potential of a short sale. For an investor to break even, the stock price must fall enough to cover the borrowing fees. Changing costs The cost to borrow is not static. If many investors want to short a particular stock, the borrowing cost can skyrocket. Conversely, if shares are readily available, costs might decrease. Potential for buy-ins if the lender wants their shares back, maybe because they want to sell them or due to other reasons, they can call them back from the short seller. If many short sellers face this situation simultaneously, it can lead to a short squeeze, causing rapid price appreciation. Mitigating the risks Stay informed Always know the borrowing fee before initiating a short sale. Regularly check with your broker for any changes to the fee or conditions related to the borrowed shares. Limit Exposure Like any investment strategy, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify strategies to mitigate potential losses from short selling. Use Stop Orders Setting a buy stop order can limit potential losses by purchasing the shares if the price rises to a certain level. Short selling can be a lucrative strategy for experienced investors, but it's crucial to be mindful of the associated costs. The cost to borrow can significantly impact the profitability of a short sale. Therefore, always stay informed, understand the risks, and have a clear strategy in place when venturing into the realm of short selling.